and welcome back. And uh, as was mentioned earlier in the show, our first conversation for today is with Belizean artist Melanie Gillett. Good morning, Melanie, and thank you for joining Good us. Good morning, Mel. Good morning. Uh, as per usual, with the look, uh, with uh, your persona, uh, the things that you do, you know, it complements your life. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things a lot of people give you the kudos for. Um, your crew always find the best places to shoot videos because it brings out the best of Belize. So then again, it's the mindset that you put into it. What have you been up to? We haven't uh, seen you in a while. Whenever we see you, it's always with uh, either the Rutamaya <laughs> or, 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 or something that Running would be active. But that, that's right, that's right. <laughs> so how have you been? What have you been up to? Where have you been? Well, I've been right here in the country of Belize. Um, I, have, I never stopped doing music. Music is just ongoing. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'm on a little, not necessarily a pause, but in behind the scene works. Mm -hmm. And um, since my last release, which was Soka Mode, mm -hmm. I think that was a, a great success for me. Um, I've been working on a, my new music video, Roller Coaster Ride and sh juggling it with medical school <laughs> so yes um i think for the most part i've been up to um trying to be a doctor and trying to merge with music at the same time crazy combination <laughs> that would be interesting i mean it's a great way to uh, soothe sick persons if you're gonna sing for them but no i i really wanted to to get into that because i think melanie one of the things we've learned about you over the years is that uh you are very driven in terms of being a, able to pursue a professional career. You've uh, been in the beauty industry. I know you moved into production, um, and it's almost like serial entrepreneur. <laughs> but uh, and and it takes great guts and, and drive to be able to do so. But what prompted you to go the route of uh, the medical profession? Well, uh, it's something I always wanted to do. I think as far back as I can remember, if they would ask me what I wanted to be, I would say when I was a little girl, I wanted to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. I, I always sang, my entire family sings. It's something, you know, um, in our genetics, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, but I never really, at, when I was younger, it was always I want to be a doctor. And then somehow music kind of stepped in and took over. Yeah. And then when I found out about Washington University of Health and Science, and I realized that it's located in the country of Belize, wow. mm -hmm. on the island of San Pedro, I said, wow, this is perfect. Yeah. I mean, this is finally my opportunity to kind of um, not give up music, but fulfill both my dreams, um, you know, and it has been a great experience. Yeah. Let's, no, put I can't. It, oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, let's put it in the perspective here. Mm -hmm. um, you came from a, a strong family background. Yes, you know? definitely. And uh, music. But then again, a lot of folks could tell you that being a doctor, <laughs> it's not a nine to five. It's actually a nine to next day. Nine. Oh, yes. It's a 24, it's 24 hours. Mm -hmm. How do you see yourself juggling the two, knowing that you, your passion is music. Mm -hmm. Then again, your, your, your want to be is doctor. How, you, how are you going I, to do this? I question myself. I've questioned myself several times before, um, you know, is this really something that's possible? Because music has always been very demanding and um, I oftentimes have to be multitasking and um, behind the scenes, production, directing, um, you know, writing. There's so much involved with music already especially with my production company metamorph creatives you know there was so much already going on there but i've actually found a way to merge the two and um don't get me wrong medical school is totally demanding i mean i have many three four four thirty five o'clock mornings two hours of sleep you know the average medical student is lucky to get six hours per night mm -hmm. um but i've I've been working it and I also do um, like video work for the school as well, PR, public mm -hmm. relations. Mm -hmm. So I've found a way to merge the two and, you know, kind of bring them together. Like I said, it is not, it's not something that's easy. It's not, yeah. um, it's very challenging and very demanding. And sometimes I think most medical students would know just 
attending medical student um, me medical school, sometimes you want to just pull out every grain of hair in your head, yeah. much less of trying to do it along with all the things that I have been doing. But um, I have to thank, thank God and I have to thank my family for the support yeah. through this because without them, I, I would definitely not be able to do it. And of course, my fans, they always motivate me. It's like I can't, I can't say no music. I'm done with music. It's something that I don't think I could do because they wouldn't allow me to do it. Now, I, I want to tap into a little bit of uh, as, as to what keeps you driven on this path. You know, we've had countless conversations with mm -hmm. you over the course of the show. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we know that one thing you always aim to do was to uh, be an artist, but to maintain a professionalism that was unique to Belize at the time, mm -hmm. uh, working with a manager, uh, kind of having the business aspect of the music going mm -hmm. from the onset. And you've spoken openly many times about challenges oh, for yes. support. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you say uh, to, to other artists and uh, from your own lessons that have been learned on this path? We now see, and I can tell you from this end, when we tap into artists, that there is now the business mode tagged on mm -hmm. to even the newest artists. Yes. But talk mm -hmm. about your own experience in getting to that point. Um, I think for me, it has been, like you said, you know, we all know we've discussed it several times before. It's, it's been challenging in a growing music industry, in a young music industry mm -hmm. for me. I think um, my advice would be to sometimes, to upcoming artists, just sit back and observe, you know, the people that are in the industry before you because you could kind of say that they have taken, they're like the guinea pigs, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Just use that, um, use their, their, follow their footsteps kind of thing. Not, not do exactly what they're doing, but yeah. just do a lot of research and um, analyze, you know, the industry. Definitely make sure that there's that business aspect from the start because that is very important in being able to continue. Yes, you could get up today and say, oh, I'm going to, be an artist I'm going to do this but to have that longevity there has to be the business aspect of it um, I think the private sector has been tapping more into it and understanding I mean we have more endorsements I mean coming a long way from pink yes pink endorsement yeah. I mean wow Which that's was the first in the yes yes yeah. it was a first I think in the industry mm -hmm. on a whole and um, to know you know we're having telephone companies we're having um, you know, the, the rum companies endorsing, we have a lot more of the private sector very much involved in, in, in the industry and having that vision to see the benefits of working yeah. hand in hand. So I think um, definitely tap into the private sector and um, get, you know, get, get yourself going, set it up right in the business aspect. And in terms of, uh, I love that you talk about the sense of openness that now exists, mm -hmm. but what's one of the areas that there's still a bit of a struggle? Um, I would definitely say that it would be nice if uh, music could be um, more prominent in the schools ah. so that from the time you're young, you could be, you know, nurturing this talent and yeah. developing and of course there's always more room for um, mm -hmm. um, investment. Yeah. I mean, I, when I speak about it being a little easier now to, to get the investment, we still need more support. It's, yeah. it's definitely not sufficient. Yeah. Um, so I would, I would say I, I would love it to mm -hmm. see more, more mm -hmm. of the private sector more of the government. I was at the film festival last night yes. and I was very, very happy to see that the government is m much more involved mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the film festival, which is something great for the country of Belize. Yeah. Excellent. So what do you say? Because, uh, <clears throat> and I think this is a very important aspect of uh, being a musician mm -hmm. and, and for folks aspiring to parental, that parental consent for those who want to, or who are aspiring to be musicians. Mm -hmm. Then again, Parents always telling their children which is the best thing for them to do to try and find a career that would be uh, paying, uh, you know, that would mm -hmm. that would pay you that, that you could would live not be from. Taboo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, in a in a situation like this, you you are a prominent Belizean artist. Mm -hmm. You're an aspiring doctor. Mm -hmm. What do you say to a parent 
who've got the because this is scary, you know, to try and <laughs> juggle this and yeah. juggle that. You've got the support that mm -hmm. you need. So what do you say to parents who have got this mentality that you know what I don't want for you to be uh, in both of them. I know that music is not uh, going to pay you here in Belize, mm -hmm. so we want for you to get in a career. What do you say to parents who are heavily reluctant to have their child uh, be uh, have the best of both worlds? I would definitely say to them that um, your lack of support for your children only makes matters worse because uh, especially in this day and age, this generation, we're very resilient. And the more you tell me not to do something, the more I will fight to do it. Mm -hmm. So why not encourage them to do it along with something that you might seem, you might think more fruitful or you know more uh, realistic, if you mm -hmm. want to say. Um, but just support them. I mean, music is, it has so many, so many benefits mm -hmm. mentally and mm -hmm. in so many other ways. So I would say support them. Don't, you know, if you don't, it's not necessarily the best thing to just folk, just do music and that's it, especially yeah. in the country of Belize. Mm -hmm. But um, support them and, and uh, you know, try to find that middle ground. Yeah. Like, for instance, like you said, I am studying to be a doctor mm -hmm. and doing music at the same time. So don't mm -hmm. push it aside. Let them have, you know, balance it somehow. It's very possible to do that. What do, and what does music, what does music do for you? Or putting, a, putting uh, ink to a paper, what does that do for you? It's stress relief. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just great to be able to be creative, that's mm -hmm. for sure. I'm naturally creative and sometimes I think I'm bursting with all these ideas and craziness inside my head and sometimes it's good to be able to put it on on paper it's like therapy for me yeah. and it you know what is even more re rewarding when i write something from the heart that appeals to the masses that people can relate to that people can listen to my music and think wow she's going through that too yeah i mean i'm normal there's nothing wrong with me yeah. And let's, uh, that's what I wanted to get at, your own musical journey. So mm -hmm. we've seen you take on so many different genres. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the last, as you pointed out, was soca. Mm -hmm. And I can recall the conversation that you spoke about being able to know your audience mm -hmm. and know what they want mm -hmm. and, and allowing uh, yourself to be able to creatively express something they'd like. Mm -hmm. So roller coaster ride, uh, <laughs> what are we talking about here? <laughs> the battles of uh, keeping up with everything in your life? <laughs> you could say that. Um, definitely, we all know life can be a roller coaster ride that's sometimes, right. ups and downs, around and around. Uh -huh. um, Oh, in this particular song, you could relate it to anything you want. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be love. Of course, the video depicts love, because as we know... We love love stories. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And um, I think love can be one of the biggest roller coaster rides. So um, that was how I depicted it. But roller coaster ride can appeal to, uh, apply to many aspects of life, it, not only mm -hmm. love. When did you write the song and what was the process like? Funny story. <laughs> I did not write this song. Okay. <laughs> this is the first song that I am written by someone else, um, Kilone Garbutt. Okay. I actually heard this song maybe six or seven months ago. He sang it to me. He's an amazing artist, actually, and he has a phenomenal voice. You actually hear his voice featured in the second verse of the, the, the song. But when I first heard the song, he was singing it for me. And I said, I spun around and I said, sing it again. And he sang it again. And I said, one more time. And he sang it again. And then I go, OK, just one more time. <laughs> That's how, you know, how much I fell in love with the song yeah. the second he sang it for me. Yeah. And like I said, it, I had never done something like that before. Yeah. So it was a new experience for me. And I like new things. Yeah. So. Yeah. What was his reaction? I mean, this is very common in the music industry. Mm -hmm. uh, we always, uh, people when they discovered Sia, mm -hmm. finally realized that she was behind many of the major hits mm -hmm. uh, that other pop artists mm -hmm. sing. Uh, your process of convincing him to release his music to you mm -hmm. or collaborate with you, mm -hmm. what was that like? Actually, it wasn't um, diff difficult. We had been talking about collaborating for a while and the opportunity finally presented itself. I think at that point in time, we were kind of brainstorming and he was going through his files and because he does have a, a lot of music, he's been doing it for many, many years and he might be behind the scenes, but 
Um, he's very talented. So when I when I heard the song, like I said, it was automatic, and it was like that final moment. Okay, this is what we're doing, and this is how we're doing it. And the music video, mm -hmm. uh, tell us about the behind the scenes. Who do you tap into to produce <laughs> and uh, concept? Well, as you know, I have my production mm -hmm. company, uh, Metamorph Creatives. And so I think especially where I am concerned with my music videos these days, I have been mostly producing them through Metamorph Creatives. So, um, of course, Michael Vasquez was a part, I mean, a major part of my team and the mm -hmm. cinematography. And I mean, if I start calling names, it would never be done. <laughs> Kendall Simpson, uh, you know, on the production and stuff like that. I do have a large team and I did list off a large list of people because this is, these things, they, it doesn't take a one, it's not a one man oh, army. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. It's like a huge, team and um so a lot of people were involved but like i said metamorph creatives um it would not have been possible without the support of digicel mm -hmm. to make this happen they are my platinum sponsors i mean i have to give props where it is due mm -hmm. because they believed in something and they've been believing in me for many years mm -hmm. so um all of it is just a whole lot of people that came together to make it possible just a, a quick peep uh, a, pick, a quick peek there of, of the video uh -huh. it seems to be uh based on the island uh -huh. because you you've always had the the knock to have this in your video that in your video and the natural mm -hmm. wonders of belize yeah. this seem islandish Yes, definitely. This is the first one that I've done in San Pedro, sh um, mostly shot in San Pedro and also Maruba Resort. Okay. And um, so, I mean, San Pedro has some of the most beautiful scenes that you could ask for. So luckily, actually the weather was pretty bad, but um, luckily with the drone shots, we got a little, uh, I guess you'd call it like a coral island, dead yeah. coral reef or whatever. And it was, you know, perfect. I was like, man, it is so amazing to have Belize as my platform, as you know, because it's it's not easy to find locations generally, but Belize offers so many lovely locations that I have it right here at my fingertips. That's right. That's and right. Uh, how long did it take you to shoot it? Was it one of those ambitious one-day shoots? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not this one. No, no, no. Um, this one. It took, I mean, I took maybe three or four months to get this one together. Okay. Like I said, juggling with school and everything took me a little bit longer. But um, I took my time. I, I knew what I wanted. I knew I wanted to do something different, yeah. as I always try to do something different. But I really put a lot into this one, into ensuring that everything came together. And um, yeah, so it took roughly four or five months. And your most memorable scene in the in the video? <laughs> my most memorable scene. With oh the, my god! Tell us, tell us a back back uh, behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> um, my most memorable. You know, there is not one. Uh -huh. Every single aspect of every single part of the journey mm -hmm. has its own story, its <laughs> own fun aspect, and I think um, every shoot brought something different so I think just the entire project was was fun to do and, and great people to be around yeah okay do you have anything right now in the pipeline whereby you could say you know what in the next three or four or five months there'll be <laughs> something else I'm working on a few songs um, I'm hoping to collaborate with Ben Popic on a project very soon okay. I'm pretty excited about that and I haven't worked outside of metamorph creatives in a long time so I mean, like I said, I like to shift things up sometimes, yeah. you know, I don't want to just stick yeah. to the same thing. So. Yeah, ben and Joanna are very talented. Yes, yeah. yes, uh, they are. We, we know that time is, t time is always of the essence yeah. here. Mm -hmm. But I wanted, I wanted to, because, you know, I could, I could picture what life is like for you as a musician, mm -hmm. being out in San Pedro, knowing mm -hmm. that San Pedro is actually the Las Vegas of the <laughs> you know? But I'm sure a lot of pop stars are, <laughs> uh, hit these places and... Have you ever encountered Any? that such thing? Yeah, whereby they say, you know what, man, this, this guy, you know. <laughs> not as yet, mm -hmm. not as yet. Um, maybe Leonardo DiCaprio will let me film on his <laughs> island. <laughs> <laughs> you do get to perform while you're out there. We've seen that, right? Yes, I yeah. have. And I do, um, I am working on, on more performances. I, I mean, my music is, mm, mm, I don't want to say, I don't know how to say it, but more um, laid back, more mm -hmm. sophisticated, mm -hmm. I guess. And so I have to 
know my market and yeah. know where I am supposed to be performing. So I'm hoping that the um, the resorts, you know, I'd love to do collaborate with the resorts, especially in San Pedro. I'm based there right now, so mm -hmm. it, it only makes sense to do it. And um, hopefully I'll be performing much more often. I actually have some upcoming bookings, so yeah. hopefully yes. something it's is... It's great dinner time music, and with the... Yeah. the uh, the market that you have there, you can tap into that. Yes, but for sure. let's take the opportunity before we totally lose time for you to introduce your video to our viewers, right? So uh, go ahead and uh, tell us what we're about to see. So good morning, Belize, again. Um, here we are with the roller coaster ride. Mm -hmm.
Wow, <laughs> there you have it. Beautiful video, but the thank song. You. Oh, thank uh, you. Definitely a different sound for you, too. Yes, yeah. for sure a different sound. Um, slow pop? Yeah. yeah. Pop, still pop, but yeah. it's, uh, it's, uh, it, 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 does, it does touch it. And, yeah. and if you would, uh, because a lot of the times when Belizean artists would bring out a selection or a video, you know, you, you could you could determine that okay, mm -hmm. yes, it's 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 local, but something like this, like I mentioned, if I was playing music and I played something like that selection, mm -hmm. uh, roller coaster ride with a song, probably, do you believe in life after love? And mm -hmm. you would never determine that. You know what, uh, million, <laughs> that's the my home girl. You know, you, you would never be, be able to determine. It seemed that you have stepped up a notch. You have been. Aww. You're now. You 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 jump the level. Thank you. Excellent job. Excellent Thank job. You. It's Tell a us about it. Beautiful video. Mm -hmm. Can Thank I tell you. you that? Yes. And I was asking you because we are in the period of the International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. This is one of your submissions. Yes, this is one of my submissions along with Soka Mode. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm hoping, you know, for that big win. Yes. I've been a part of the film festival for many years, but I mean, last night at the opening film festival, it was really phenomenal. I had such a great time. I mean, you have to give kudos to people like Nigel and Suzette and you know the entire team, Karen, Vernon, Nitch, all of them coming together. They, they work so hard, you know. Uh, it's great to see all these international people coming into our country to showcase their own films and um, that in itself is phenomenal. So okay. uh, you have two of the 19 submissions yes, two of the for 19. music videos. Yeah. Yes. What would a win from the festival mean for you? It would mean a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I think um, I've invested many years mm -hmm. into production and directing and trying to ensure that I offer um, not only Belize, mainly Belize, but mm -hmm. also the world um, good visuals, you know. Yeah better than we expect. I mean, because we deserve it. Yeah. We are on that level, you know. We are not supposed to settle for less. We deserve the best. And so I try to give Belize the best. The world has seen the best, but, mm -hmm. you know, I try to represent Belize to the best of my ability. So John and I have established, and mm -hmm. you've confirmed, so we can see it on air, <laughs> that your favorite scene was the lady in the tram scene. <laughs> <laughs> We are assuming your answer is yes. <laughs> Lady and the Trump. <laughs> so where, where did you, uh, you, you find the, you know, the, the other, this guy? Where the, model. You, uh, the model. Oh, the model. Yeah, the actor. Mm -hmm. yes. His name is Stan and he's from Holland actually. Mm -hmm. um, he kite surfs in Belize uh, okay. for periods throughout the year, um, last year. So he's not here anymore. But luckily I met him when he was in Belize and he actually left and came all the way back for the video, ah. so uh, I have to give a big thank you to Stan, you know, because he did a phenomenal job, and um, I think it, I'm a woman, mm -hmm. and these things appeal to men more uh, as well, you know, yeah. so <laughs> it kind of opened my market a little bit more. I wanted to do something that would appeal to, to men as you, well. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> and uh, for the women still, would be I can't Of face, course. So. <laughs> I mean, but we know Let, that. Let's not ignore that. <laughs> But great job, Melody, of course. Uh, we want to thank you for stopping in and giving us all the behind the scenes uh, info about your latest video. People thank can find you. it on Facebook and YouTube. Yes, Facebook and YouTube. And um, of course, MelanieJillet.com. That's right. You could always follow me there. Um, like my fan page. You go and watch the video, support me. And if you guys have any question about medical school, Washington University of Health and Science, mm -hmm. send me a message on Facebook. I could give you all the information that you need. Nice. I mean, I'm actually at the school attending, so it's not like you have to wonder what's happening. I can actually Share give you that experience. Yes. Yeah. experience. Well, thank you for being here, Mel. We appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. All right. Best well. of luck. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead now and take a break. When we come back, it'll be for Brock It Down with Jenny. So stay tuned.